Hey everyone, happy holidays. Dustin here, welcome to the Flint and Ship. I'm really happy that you're here because last June I found a huge collection of Department 56 at the Goodwill bins. So let's just see how much actual profit that I made selling these on eBay six months later and maybe get an insight as to how much you can make per hour selling these collectibles. So I find myself one beautiful summer morning at the Goodwill bins and hey, wouldn't you know, a big old collection of Department 56 Christmas collectibles just found its way inside of my cart. And some nice ones too, like that Starbucks one. And chances are you probably know that a lot of these will go for some seriously good money. So I snapped some pics for Instagram and did a YouTube short. Let's go back. Hey guys, it was Department 56 day at the Goodwill bins. Check this out. Especially the Starbucks copy one. This one is super valuable. And when I got back home, I set them up all nicely and noticed that I got everything from the Goodwill bins that day at 89 cents a piece. So all 27 of these cost me only 24.03. Two of them were missing parts, so I got 25 of them for less than a dollar a piece. Awesome. Then my good friend Angie said, hey, let me know what your profits are. So I said, awesome, that'd be a great video idea for the holiday season. So for six months I've been gathering all the sold listings so I can give you an exact total of what I made with this haul. And to figure out the time, I got the little blue clock on the left there. And you'll see that about 90 minutes will pass during these clips here. That's before my old phone camera died, sorry I didn't have a GoPro back then. And if you've ever seen any of my shipping videos, you'll know that it'll probably take me less than an hour to ship out 20 packages. And it didn't take long for the sales to start coming in, July 3rd. Seems like Christmas in July is a thing. These ones sold for $12.99 plus shipping. It was around $6. So already on the same day, we got another small one going out. Now the gross profit is with fees and shipping. So we'll figure all that out at the end. As you can see, I got the really big one out of the way. I'm hoping that one's gonna sell. Then bam, one buyer bought two of them. One of them was one of the smaller Starbucks ones. Pretty sweet sale there. And these are really easy to package and ship because they're already in their original foam. And if there's a little bit of wiggle room, all you need to do is throw a little bit of bubble wrap on there. And with this sale here, we got a couple of repeat buyers. Now this wasn't the same buyer, but repeat buyers. So that is so cool that people are coming back you can see these cars are really popular. They're all going for $18.99 plus shipping. There's another sweet one, a 1955 Thunderbird. Now once I get going with these car listings, they actually get pretty easy to list because once I do one, all of the item specifics are pretty similar. So all I gotta do is tweak the listing a little bit and I got a listing out in two, three minutes. And you can keep that time down if you have your phone or your camera hardwired right into your computer. Then you can just move them right off and into your listing, they're done. Another thing that'll help me do listings pretty quickly is to have a nice tight little station like this. Um, all I gotta do is swivel back and forth, I can weigh my stuff to the right, I can take pictures uh, also to my right, and then I do my listings right in front of me. That minimizes time walking around or doing one of the processes now. You know, I mean, sometimes I would take pictures one day and then do listings the next day. And I found that if you just do everything all at once, it just gets done. I mean, I never would have sold that Starbucks Snow Village for $127.49 plus shipping if I hadn't listed it. And I find sometimes that music is a welcome distraction to keep out all of the other distractions and help keep me focused on the task at hand. Even a cha-ching sometimes will not break my focus while I'm listing because I just want to get it done. And then I got all the rest of the day to do all the other stuff. Like drive around in a pink Cadillac. Check that one out. That's actually an ornament. I've never seen one like that before. And here's some more cars. I must have taken an offer on this one. This one went for $13.29 plus shipping. Even these smaller ones are really starting to add up. 
Oh, and there is another one of the big ones. $99 plus shipping. Now that actually went internationally, so I put a little extra bubble wrap inside the foam there so nothing was going to wiggle around and sent that baby off to Canada and got a personal message from the buyer that it made it safely. Then last to go out of this lot was the garbage truck at $18.99 plus $9.40 shipping. I mean, every Christmas village still needs to keep clean, right? So I actually sold 15 items there. That's pretty good. And everything that is left is still sitting on the table there. There's four listings that I made out of that. And I wouldn't say that it took me any more than an hour to do. So we'll say two and a half total hours of listing and storing these. Then no more than an hour to package all them up and ship them out. So let's do a little breakdown while we watch one of my previous YouTube videos where I found another awesome Christmas collectibles haul. So my gross profit was $567.50. Then we got to take out the eBay fees at 15% and the shipping cost, which is always the most, and the cost for everything, which was $2403, giving us a grand net profit of $345.63. Now that's before tax and supplies, but that's still pretty dang good because when you divide that by three and a half hours, that gives you $98.75 per hour. That's almost $100 an hour. I'll take that any day. And it's not just Department 56 to be on the lookout for. Other brands like Inesco make these really good Rudolph things. Now check out the solds on these. All of these sold for me in December. Now when I find a big old collection like this, you can rest assured that I'm going to stop and do some research. I'm going to put them in my bag and walk away. Well, that about wraps up today's video, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. You know I really appreciate it. And congratulations when you're the first one to that fresh bin full of an awesome collection. And until next time, my hat's up to you.